five daily habits that will make you a successful English learner. Let's begin. Now, the first habit would be having conversations with artificial intelligence. Having conversations with AI can take on many different forms. It could be written, it could be typed, it could be texted or spoken. You could put in a prompt into an AI platform saying anything along the lines of, hi, I would like to have a conversation in English with you to improve my English skills. Please correct any of the grammatical mistakes that I make during this conversation. And just like that, you can have a conversation with artificial intelligence that will correct your English grammar. Now, there are a lot of different artificial intelligence platforms that you can use out there. In my personal opinion, I prefer the application Language Talk. Believe me, I have tried literally every single language learning platform that you could possibly think of. The reason why I prefer Language Talk is because they pay a lot closer attention to quality for everything they do on the platform, a lot more than all of the other applications that I've tried. So personally, I've been extremely satisfied with my experience using Language Talk. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link somewhere in the description or the pinned comment down below. Now, the second habit would be to express your opinion about anything in your site. So if you're going for a walk, if you're at the gym, if you're even in your own home, just express your opinion about literally anything. So for example, there is a piece of artwork behind me. I think it would look good in a restaurant. There's also this mirror here. It's not formed like a rectangle. It's formed like a circle, which I think is a little bit different. I like it. Expressing your opinion about things like these. It could be little, it could be big, it could be anything. Ideally, you want to speak out loud when you do this to train your mouth to speak the English language. However, if you're in a very crowded space and you don't want to look like you're crazy, then okay, you can say it in your head. But I'm telling you, if you say it out loud, you're going to see much more results over time with your speaking skills. And your speaking is going to feel more natural the more that you physically speak. Now, the third habit that you should be doing every day would be making an effort to learn something new every single day. Not sometimes, not every Tuesday, I mean seven days a week, 365 days a year, Every single day, you need to make an effort to learn something new. Learning something new can take on the form of really any skill, from grammar, vocabulary, to listening or reading, to speaking or writing. For example, you might go through 10 pages of your grammar workbook every single day, or you might learn 10 new phrasal verbs or idioms in English every day. Or maybe you'd like to go out and actually apply some words you learned in English with a real human being every day. The point is you want to exercise your English skills every day, which will lead you to learning something new every day. Now with this, I will say actually learning how to apply your skills is a lot more important than just consuming knowledge. So learning five or 10 words a day is cool, but if you never actually go out and learn how to apply them, it's not really that valuable. So do make sure that you really do exercise your skills to type, text or speak. Now, the fourth habit that you should be doing every day is consuming social media, but solely in the English language. Now, when you consume social media in the English language, the beauty of it is it's so easy to do. There are so many different social media platforms where you can consume short form content like YouTube shorts or just shorter form videos on YouTube in general. If I were you, I would target people who actually do their content in the English language, and then you'll be very immersed in a lot of nuances that have to do with the English language. A lot of social media content creators exercise a lot of humor and slang terminology into their content. A lot of the slang that you see on the internet is extremely nuanced and very specific to certain situations that you'll probably only see on the internet. By understanding small things like these, it will make you a much more well-rounded English speaker. All of these skills in English really go hand in hand with one another. So doing this is actually going to improve your fluency in many different ways. And like I said, this is very easy to do. You don't necessarily need to watch a one hour long video. 
you can watch something as short as a five to 10 second video on any application of your choice. And this leads me to the fifth habit that you should be doing on a daily basis, and that is consuming English media passively. Now, when I'm referring to consuming English media passively, this could refer to many different things. For example, when you're cooking or cleaning, you could have English music playing in the background or an English podcast playing in the background, or there could be something on the television that's playing in English in the background. This could also refer to when you're walking down the street, reading any of the signs that you might see outside in English. This is more applicable to people who live in English speaking regions, but you understand the concept. When you go to the gym and you're exercising, you could simply be listening to English music, an English podcast, or any other type of English media. It should absolutely be a habit of yours to do this daily. If you can do this daily, you will passively improve your reflexes in the English language. This in turn will improve your overall fluency in the English language. Now I'm curious, so tell me in the comments what your daily routine is when it comes to practicing English. And I'll see you in the next video.